Hello everybody. So here we are live with Anvita ma'am again and at the same time since our video got uh, this and uh, yes just in one second we'll be live with ma'am. Okay. So sometimes uh, hello Sultana. So just one second and we'll be live. I hope I'm seen live. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So I was just talking to ma'am about, you know, what, uh, what is, you know, her day like, how she manages so many roles and everything is saved. So, but then I had one last question, which I'm going to ask for sure. And we end on that note on a very fun note, I would say that. Eh? Hello, welcome yeah. back, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, sorry for the interlude, huh? <laughs> but you could talk. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, so, uh, you know, since the, the, the IGTV ended abruptly, I wanted to ask you something on a very fun part. But uh, mm -hmm. I have heard a little bird has said me that you write, you used to write stories before oh uh, being the, uh, you know, the professor of linguistic and teaching you know languages worldwide so would you share something from your collection and also why don't you write now why don't you write now yeah the, no i cannot share anything from my collection because that was ages ago i wrote my first collection my first collection came out on my 20th birthday i was wow. 20 years old so most of the stories that I had that included were written down when i was doing economics honors you know in miranda house and uh, the, but later on also, uh, one or two stories were added when I was doing MA Linguistics. But uh, anyway, this was brought out, as I told you, on my 20th birthday. And I left the country when I was 21. So they were very, I was very young. And uh, the name of the collection was Mutthi Bhar Pehchan, a handful yeah. of recognition. And I wrote in Hindi. And luckily, my stories became very famous. And I was already an established name by my maiden name, Anvita Agrawal, you know, okay. in Hindi literature. And I to, I was told that some of my, and some of my stories were translated in German, in French, in Gujarati, and that Marathi, and I don't remember now, Bangla, I think, you know. And uh, the then I continued writing till 1975. In fact, 1975, my one story called Avanchit, was okay. considered the one of the best short story of 1975. It was collect. It was. It's an anthology of 1975 best stories. But that story was my last story. After that, I didn't write. It just snapped, and I think it has to link with my father's death. My father died in 75. Yeah. Something snapped inside me. I just lost. I just lost lost the gab of writing short story. Every time I would write, subsequently when I tried. I was always analyzed my language, you know, and I said that was a very big hindrance to write a short story. So I stopped writing. But till 1975, there were enough number of stories to make another collection. Somehow I did not uh, publish it, but recently very famous, uh, the Scythe Academy, the recent 2021 Scythe Academy awardee, Anamika, came to know of this collection. I mean, she, she read each and every story and she had been insisting that I should publish that collection. But I'm little in two minds because those are very old stories. She thinks they are still relevant and contemporary, but I'm not sure whether I should publish it. So I'm in, still in two minds. But yeah, there can be another collection. But after that, I've stopped writing. So there is no point actually also publishing. So my linguistics knowledge, or I should say my analytical mind, started dis disturbing my uh, gap of writing short stories. But it doesn't happen with other linguists. So it's my own own uh, limitations. Because there are, I know that there are a couple of linguists who wrote poems, who write short stories as well. But poems more than short stories. I think there are more poetry writers and linguists than short story writers and linguists. But they are there, so I'm. This is my personal limitation. I do not know why, but anyway, it's bygone is gone. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, um, 
sometime maybe is it, you know something is it yeah. strange when i was a student of economics i was writing more more short stories than when i stopped became a student of linguistics <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i loved economics you. also because i was a student of delhi school of economics and then i my father moved me from the economics discipline <laughs> to linguistics <laughs> wow i mean i belong to that generation when you when we used to listen to our parents even when they they were so drastic in the decisions of changing your field of specialization these days children don't listen they don't want to in, you to interfere in anything <laughs> leave aside your <laughs> your discipline <laughs> <laughs> at this point i could relate to you so much because i became i mean i got uh, i mean i took admission ca because my father wanted me to be a ca and i cannot thank him enough now mm-hmm. sometimes you know parents know you better than you know yourself and my father said exactly the same thing when he made me join linguistics he says you have analytical mind but you love languages and since you are a right have been writing so I think you will be better off in linguistics than economics. He says, "What are you going to do in economics?" Mm-hmm. I didn't have the math <laughs> mathematics background mm-hmm. because in my school they were not higher maths only lower maths. So the, he 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 knew. He said, "You have you'll you'll be constantly fighting all your life with your limitations of not knowing mathematics enough. Even if you train yourself, you would not be up to the mark who come from those students who come with the background of mathematics." this is i think linguistics is the right subject with you at that time linguistics nobody had heard of even he had not heard of but he he compared notes he sat with linguists because being a writer he mm-hmm. was with the he was a secretary assistant secretary in sahit academy at that time very well mm-hmm. very famous person so he had couple of his friends and so he he had a good um, salaam mashwara before he suggested this to me so i couldn't say no i was crying all the time when i joined it but within a month i knew that i am made for this subject amazing. this is very amazing yeah <laughs> within a month <laughs> wow and I then mean, i never looked back yeah and i would be back really <laughs> so you know your whole journey started on a point where you thought that something is not made for you and look how beautifully it has turned out amazing well thank you i hope people also find it beautiful <laughs> the people also... no 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 we do know. we do there are many things i should have done also i could not do but anyway uh i would say that you know um, at the kind of uh, you know the kind of uh, journey you have what you have achieved and i think so your uh, wikipedia page has a lot of information and is still incomplete because when i, I was do it that <laughs> updated yes yeah so like you know i i found I thought that uh, you know this is what I need to do. This is I mean, am I not audible? No. 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 Is it okay? Yeah, now it's okay. Yeah, I I, I don't know what is what is happening today with Instagram. So I just want to say that with the kind of feat you have achieved in your career in your journey as a professor of linguist as uh, you know a winner of multiple awards and accolades and everything if you see this I certainly feel so connected with the zeal you have towards learning and constant growing in life and I'm I'm inspired I'm truly inspired ma'am Oh so nice to know that because then you'll do more than what you want to do <laughs> truly truly when yeah. you say it i need to now <laughs> yeah you see sky yeah. is the limit you can do as you can really plan to do a lot whatever you are interested in and i would like my your viewers and readers to to know that one should do what one is good at one should not try to do what you know yeah. you what the fashion is and uh, the best part is that when you know what you what you want or what you can do the best you will do the best and there's never True. there's never the uh, there's never the epitome of the best comes you know because you're all the time thinking of doing better so and you enjoy it because the whole journey had been very enjoyable i mean i never said bored my children say you are doing the same thing you are you used to do it earlier though you have no job i said well <laughs> i'm retired i have a job i'm retired from j i'm not retired from linguistics <laughs> so that I do to till my last breath, and I enjoy doing it. I was not doing job in GNU as a job. 
you know in fact i used to tell my vice chancellor you are paying me for what i want to do as a hobby so i have no grudge <laughs> this is a dream we all have you know getting paid for doing what we love the most yes i hope everyone does that but the best thing is to follow your mind and the heart true very true and uh, you know i i am i'm sad that i would say this i would say this out and open that i'm sad that this is coming to an end but uh, trust me i cannot recommend uh, this book more and more i mean i have recommended it to so many people that uh, this is something what you should read if you see the book you will see a lot of tags because i i yeah. want to revisit those pages i want to read or uh, read those uh, stories i want to read or uh, read those findings and um, come back to them in future also i will i have read a couple of the part to, to my son too and uh, yeah so how I old will, is he he is six how old is he he's six oh then yeah he understands some, but some was, stories some stories yes. people said are not readable to children maybe you should avoid if you think yeah. so but that's part of somebody somebody's community's life you know True. the the cannibalism that appears yes. again and a couple of stories yeah so i took them a bit you know, yeah it was yeah, yeah but yeah. they were looked down upon it was considered a kind of a special uh, an unusual and special um, gift uh, to a person Mm. you know so it is ah. not a it's not a normal you know, feature of the community very right, true i mean uh, this just makes me uh, you know realize there is uh, there is a one particular story which uh, now junior if, it, if if i'm getting it right now junior uh, narrates you as a 7 year old where uh, you know the wife kills the husband yeah. or what yeah 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 and that made me realize a 7 year old is being uh, said about uh, you know how a wife is killing the husband and uh, but did you found it little disturbing or you were like okay they were made uh, aware of these facts they were not kept you know guarded aside as a community no the i think you're confusing between the two stories the few, the story of g g uh, uh, maya juro the juro head hunter her son used to watch her uh, her son used to watch her mother go you know to the sea shores and coming with skulls mm. of young children so he had oh, some yes 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 hint, yeah, he had some hunch that something is mm. going wrong but when he grows up as a young boy mm. he's confirmed that he has, her mother was uh, you know devouring the flesh of the young <laughs> youth and he realized the 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 community the sense of community and the humanity dwelled on him that he has to save the humanity so he becomes instrumental in his mother's killing so you know you you can see that cannibalism was a re- not a uh, aspect of to be revered about or to be respected mm-hmm. it was looked down upon by the same by the child of the mother who does it though he is very mm-hmm. fond of his mother like all of us are and yes. he didn't want to do it he is very he is very melancholy very sad the day this happens then his mother is killed but he becomes the instrument and he gives the secret to the community how to kill is so True. powerful moment but you know the most interesting part of the story was the kind of similarity that now junior saw with with mother kali that we were sure yeah. and juro yes he yes said. he he asked me several questions for which i had no answers he says how do you know that mother kali was also not you know doing the same thing devouring the you know blood because she has a necklace of uh, yes you know, skulls. skulls and then she has a head in one of the ha- hands a cut up head and all those things you know so the whole image is very close to juro's image but we do not know what so so you know this this is a kind of a some supernatural powers couple of people used to be born with supernatural powers with and one of these supernatural power was this and they were special people who were not uh, who were not shown respect but they were yeah or they were afraid of so there is a, there's a whole logic to it so let let your readers deduct their own logic and find out True. what it is i have just presented the uh, story as it was i have not yes. added many i could have made it up being a writer myself in the previous life i could have made the story look very flowery very long or very detailed and descriptive but i didn't want to touch it i wanted and all my friends also said don't touch it let it be the way you heard it 
so i just put it the way i heard it because and in between the lines readers can fill in you know very true because very they true. should know because after every after this language is dead totally people may like to know how the narration used to take place and uh, i was told by one of my literary friends this is post modernism because some of the narrative sentences which i have given i have given the exact narration in the appendix one by one line by line sometimes you realize that the the later part is told earlier and the earlier part yes. is told later i could have corrected it but i didn't because as i said i wanted to retain the originality and i was told this is post modernism i didn't know this was post modernism <laughs> but whatever it is let the literary friends you know have their own judgment while going through these stories but yes the stories in this book are presented as they were heard and i have tried to give line by line translation in for some of the stories though in my collection i have word to word translation of quite a few of them but not all because now could not translate his hindi was poor and as he said he had forgotten the language so it was coming back by and oh. by so true but it had been a great journey for me let me tell you i am happy that i'm sharing with this sharing this journey with you young people and many others who follow your instagram page and thank many you others so much. thank you so much ma'am it has been a learning experience for me too i cannot thank you enough for accepting our invite and uh, sharing your insights i would say this has been quite a lot of revelation for a lot of us and uh, maybe sometime soon when your next 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 books coming up we we do this again and we talk to you forever thank you yes i enjoyed it talking to you shweta thank you thank you, thank you so much ma'am okay. thank you okay good night bye 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 good night bye